Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Bulldog Weekly. I'm Maddie. And I'm Mariana. In this week's episode, we'll talk to some firefighters in training, view the latest basketball highlights, and wrap it all up with some of the best moments from this year's Forum concert. But before we get into any of that, here's the week ahead from our principal, Mr. Duvall, and Sports Rundown with Athletic Director Bill Tilden. Hello everybody, it's the Rundown, it's March 10th, and it's Daylight Savings. It's a great time of year, the days get a lot longer, and the sun is out. It makes you feel better when you're um, you know, leaving work at like 5 o'clock and it's dark out. That's the worst. So, happy Daylight Savings. Monday's March 11th, day 6 in our cycle, nothing happening. It's, it's a boring week, and you know what? We need a boring week. Tuesday, March 12th, day 7 in our cycle. In the evening, we've got the Form Band Concert. So last week was the chorus, this week's the band. Uh, also earlier in the day at 9 a.m. Healthy Tri-Town in the central office. Wednesday, March 13th, day eight in our cycle. Nothing's happening and that's okay. Thursday, March 14th, day one. Nothing happened. Friday, March 15th, beware the Ides of March. Day two in our schedule. We're gonna promote a junior high event that evening. Uh, Aladdin, the junior high play, uh, opens up on the 15th. Uh, our junior high friends do a great job putting on their school plays so we're going to support them and we're going to be there there's two showings but it opens on friday march 15th that's all i've got for you we need a slow week if there's snow i know a great recording artist that will let you know take care thank you mr duvall great week of basketball this week boys basketball did get knocked off on friday with uh, wareham tremendous game we were close all the way to the end of the game. Uh, what a way to go out, boys. Thanks for a great season. Girls are still playing. They're in a semifinal matchup tonight at Taunton High School versus Hingham at 5 o'clock tonight. Again, this is the semifinals. One more game we'll be making the finals, so we've got high hopes for tonight. Uh, go Lady Bulldogs. We also have a, the boosters that really have a big push going on for our fundraiser, Build the Nation. Uh, we've got the banner right behind me. Uh, go to give the number two ORR.com. You can donate to any team. Uh, so we're reaching out to everybody. Um, hope you're on board with us. And back to the Bulldog crew. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mr. Duvall and Mr. Tilden, for those informative updates. Recently, we caught up with some local firefighters in training to ask them about their experience in the program. Let's check it out. Uh, Marina Stevens, sophomore. Mia Quinlan, senior. Max Marcio, junior. So we're a junior firefighter EMS program, so we focus on both aspects of EMS and fire service. Yeah, we're trained to go to the fire academy one day, and they help us learn basic fire safety skills. And yeah, it's supposed to make the fire academy a lot easier, so that when we get in there, we just like, breeze through it. And yeah. <laughs> What would you recommend for anyone wanting to join the program? Uh, to join it as soon as you can, because I know that if I joined last year, it'd be a lot more fun because then I could do it for all four years of high school and instead of just three. Yeah, this is my first year doing it, so I probably wish I'd done it last year, um, but it's a really cool experience and I've definitely met a lot of cool people through it. Yeah, it's good knowing the actual firefighters on the forces, because just having a bond with them, it just makes the drill a lot easier and calming. So that, because right. when you're in the drills, you have to control your breathing. You just, you just got to second um, guess yourself, make sure like this is the right decision. Because if you don't, like, you could die. So we're always putting our lives, our life on the line. Do you guys have a favorite memory from your time doing this? <laughs> <laughs> we have we have a lot of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like famous quotes. Last Sunday we were working on a, a trailer that we can just use for ourselves during drills like uh, back of an ambulance and we wrote on the walls like famous quotes from last year. We had this girl Amber Jones she said she looked she pointed at an airplane and said that's a funny looking helicopter. <laughs> so every time we see her we always use that and she hates it. Um, mine's definitely uh, another cadet and I, Lauren Eldridge, pulled a 200 pound dummy out of the house and that was very surreal for me because it was so amazing that the two of us were able to do that and it was also filled with smoke and we couldn't see anything. Uh, one time during a drill we were supposed to pick up the same 200 pound dummy 
and it was like it was the room was falling down, and so you couldn't see anything. And when we started to pick up the dummy, it moved, and I got really scared. And it ended up being one of the instructors, so we left it an instructor out. So that was that was fun. I really think it's gonna be a big part of what I do, because from last year I really liked it. Like, that's why I'm doing it this year now. So I really hope to use that, use what I know now to just breeze through the fire academy and join like as fast as I can. Yeah, same for me. I really want to be a full-time firefighter. Um, I do want to go in the um, services, the military first, um, but after that I would, I would definitely do it um, as either as a volunteer firefighter or an on-call firefighter. I think I just imagine the feeling of saving someone and I've heard other um, firefighters say that it's just like like you just can't really speak on it like it's just a feeling that's so great that you can't really explain but yeah that's really mm -hmm. the best way to put it mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um yeah i just remember seeing a couple of firefighters out on the road and it just looked so cool and so um i wouldn't say fun because they're saving lives and they have to work really hard but like max said there's like just it's just a feeling and I couldn't think of anything else I wanted to do. Um, I love like being in touch with like community, and to me that's like really important. And I like the brother sister um, kind of relationship that you have with like your your coworkers. You're not really coworkers, you know. You come out and support each other. So I think that's a really cool and um, attracting view of like the fire service. Is yeah. that the family and the community that we have in our group is really amazing. Yeah, last year my house burned down, so that day um, everyone in the program and the cadets, they all came to my house, they like, brought a bunch of food over, and uh, it was just really comforting and it felt like a sense of security and like a family. So they like that day they told me, like, um, just when I ran new stuff, like they're always there, like it's a natural family, and yeah, it felt good. So we have a GoFundMe website and a Facebook page, um, and we are trying to get a trip to the 9-11 Memorial and Museums in New York City, so we're just trying to fundraise now. We just had a bake sale, and we did really well, so that was awesome. Um, coconut, what was it? No, I keep thinking coconut cream pies, like iCarly. Chocolate cream pie. Chocolate cream pie. I made, a, I made three pies that are filled with chocolate pudding, and it's just simply just covered with whipped cream, and it's just really the best seller. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we are trying to just get some funds together to send us all there. And more recruits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, De definitely join. Yeah, mostly in the Tri-Town. Yeah. If you're thinking about it, join. Yeah. And if you don't like it, you can always quit. Yeah. But <laughs> it's a really fun experience. Yeah. And to see no one, no one to quit. No. Thank you for giving us a more detailed look inside the world of the fire department. Now, on to sports. With winter sports coming to an end, we decided what better way to end the season than with some of our players' best moments. Here's this season's final sports highlights.
an exciting season. Now for some music. Local voices were showcased this week at the Form Choral Concert. Here are some of the best moments from this performance.
teachers and students, if you would like to have something filmed and shown here at Bulldog Weekly, let us know at the ORC TV station. Be sure to check out our Vimeo channel for everything we film here at ORC TV. We cover sports games, town meetings, school events, and so much more. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of Bulldog Weekly. Until next time, I'm Maddie. And I'm Mariana. And this is Bulldog Weekly. Weekly.